Hey, it's the end of month three of the lion diet. So it's been an interesting month. Thought last month was bad. <laughs> this month was worse. <laughs> so um, here we go. Let's get into this. It's not medical information. This is just my life. Uh, so I finished the 90 days. It didn't go like I planned at all. Like I'm not kidding you. This was last month was a lot of pain and a lot and a lot going on. This month was even worse. I didn't think it could do that, but it did. So um, if you've been watching any of our videos, you've seen that I've been doing the cooking videos by myself. That's because Chan's got sick. And we ended up in the emergency on his birthday and he'd already been sick for a couple of weeks or so. And uh, 7.30 the next day at night, I got sick. I got really sick. And um, like fever and cough and the whole kind of thing. So I figured, you know what? This will probably last seven to 10 days. And by day seven, I was feeling better. By 10, it was gone. Chance, not so lucky. He's still suffering and dealing with this. So it made it really difficult, like not having his help around. And uh, it was tough. It was really tough. So you know that saying that uh, everybody's saying in carnivore, plants are trying to kill us? Well, I got a story for you. <laughs> when you get sick, sometimes you don't think things through like you used to. But the thing is, is it's something that I used to do. And when I got sick, I would have ginger and lemon. I've already had the lemon, no problem. Everything was great. Uh, so I put we I got actually I started this for a chance had the ginger lemon and the honey and a hot drink and it was soothing his throat he was feeling great so without the honey um, I took it and I figured it's just soaking in the in the hot water and it should help right well <laughs> it got really interesting first day had a cup or two I don't even know anymore and uh, felt fine. Second day, and I've been coughing through this, second day all of a sudden it felt like this side, part of my my throat felt kind of numb and I coughed and I coughed so hard I was coughing like five to ten minutes and I couldn't breathe in between. And it was, I was gasping for air as I'm coughing and I can feel this weird thing in my throat. Like it was really weird. And that happened once, like the second day. And then it happened the next day and the next day. And like it happened for like four days in a row. And I like pretty over, I'm like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening? And I could almost, like it's really weird, but I could, you know when something's happening you can sort of picture that part of your body and a piece of like it was it was really strange like I could picture it and I could see that this piece was numb like was I can't even really explain it and all of a sudden the thought came to my mind it's ginger so I got off the ginger like instantly and it went away. I didn't have any more of those coughing sprees. And it was, they were scary. They were really scary. Because when you've got the cold or the flu or the whatever, you cough. And you know, you cough and you're fine. But this thing, I couldn't breathe in between. Like I was gasping and gasping and gasping, trying to catch my breath. So yeah, Ginger is trying to kill me. <laughs> so, I'm not doing that no more. <laughs> the lemon was fine, but putting the ginger in and just having it soak in the water is all it took. So that was a real learning curve for me. Very interesting. I didn't think I even had a problem with ginger. That surprised me. So, um, Chance has been sick for probably, probably I think going on six weeks now or something. And he's got this stupid cough and it goes and he's, he starts to feel better and stuff and then it'll come back again and 
you know, during this time, it was tough. You know, like life happens and it was the Feast of Tabernacles and that's like the most exciting time of the year where we get to go out and, and go shopping and do things and go out for coffee and I uh, couldn't do any of that. And it made it tough. It made it really tough. So I started getting down and then I figured one day, you know what, I'm just going to have a piece of cardboard cheesecake and I had some cheese chips, which is just melted cheese in the oven, and a coffee. And I felt pretty good. And then the next day, I kind of got carb cravings. So then I messed up. And the next day, I got more carb cravings. So I messed up even worse. And those two days weren't carnivore. And, you know, like the one day was apple and stuff like that. But after the third day, I'm sitting there going, what happened? Like, I've been doing so good, meat only, lion only. Like, I've been doing so good. And everything just kind of fell apart. So I reorganized, refocused, and started again. So, you know, the thing that I found interesting is, is I didn't have the sugar waves that I used to have. Because I know, like my insulin or whatever like I used to eat and it would go like this and it really didn't do that so that was kind of interesting but I'm healing I messed up I own it and I'm moving on I'm not gonna live in the past because I have my future to look forward to and doing um, this has really uh, taught me that you know it's 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 not worth it it's not as enjoyable as you would think it would be. It's just more of a, a blanket, a cover, a comfort. And the comfort isn't where we should be looking to food anyways. But it's something that, I mean, I've learned my entire life. And to break that, it's going to take time. Moving on. So I am still doing coffee, like for the rest it's kind of off and on it's actually more off than on um, I found no difference in having coffee um, the one day actually I went out on my own and I had a coffee in the morning and then before I came home I stopped and I had another coffee that I kind of felt a little jittery and stuff after that but um, just having the one coffee it, it doesn't I don't seem to react at all. But the funny thing is, is I don't, now that I've had coffee off and on for probably half a month or so, I don't desire it like I did, like when I was drinking it every day. It's just like if I don't have it, I don't have it, I'm fine. Like I can move on. So I found that another thing that was really uh, interesting that I really didn't see because I thought once I get back to coffee, I'm going to want to drink it every day. But no, that hasn't happened. Um, I'm still dealing with the oxalites, oxalite crystal attack kind of thing. Uh, I'm using castor oil, and I'm wrapping my my foot in the castor oil, like my toes, and it has taken the swelling down even more than what I was doing before. It has, um, I can see between my toes now, pain is very rare. Uh, it's working wonders and I've heard that it can also like break down um, like different cysts or whatever that you've had so I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna see if I'm gonna put them on my knees and I've got these two bone spurs on my knees and if I can get rid of those and to be able to kneel I haven't been able to kneel for oh man probably 25 years so to be able to kneel would be so cool. So that's something I'm going to be adding to uh, my lion diet, seeing if my body can get rid of these things. Um, I've still had more crystals coming out of my thumbs. I had one come out of my side and one come out of my leg. It's really weird when they do, but they're really hard. And uh, it's, it's weird. It's just, I don't know, something that's going on. Uh, the cramps are gone which oh, 
I am so glad. I'm taking potassium, magnesium, and um, sea salt. And it took a while. Um, I guess my body was low on potassium. It took a while to balance that out, but I got that balanced out and I'm sleeping through the night now, which is so nice. I don't have the cramps and because uh, man, those are debilitating when you get them in your thigh. They're pretty rough. Uh, I crossed my legs for the first time. <laughs> I mean, last time it was like I crossed my ankle onto my feet. This time I crossed my legs. Um, I guess that's another bonus. My nails are stronger. Uh, everybody was always like on carnivore, oh my nails are so strong and I'm like, Sigh. I don't know what's going on. On carnivore with the dairy and the eggs, they were breaking, they were ripping all the time. Now just meat, they're not. So that made a difference. Um, I'm down two sizes in my jeans. And uh, I went to the store and picked up a pair of jeans, come home, tried them on, and like, oh, they're way too big. So I went back to the store, and <laughs> without knowing this, the jeans cost a dollar. So I was at Walmart, and I went to return them, and she's like, that's a dollar. And I'm like, did you guys mess up? She's like, no, they're just a dollar. Like, Seriously? Like a brand new pair of jeans. So I went and got a smaller size, paid my dollar, <laughs> and I got a pair of jeans for a dollar that are two sizes smaller than I was wearing when I started this 90 days ago. Um, so, I mean, that's a reward right there. I mean, how can you turn that down? Um, so, so far this month, well, this month, I've lost six pounds. So it's a total of 24 pounds, which really doesn't seem like a lot. Um, but I'm in smaller shirts. I'm in two sizes smaller pants. I was thinking, why did I even start this? And it was this massive, massive panic attack I had. And that's why I started. I haven't, like even being through all this sick and through all this everything that's going on, no panic attacks. One thing I did notice um, that when I did that three day cheating, like we're two day cheating off carnivore, one day cheating off lion. When I did that, the third day I was depressed. And food really, like people, a lot of people just say, well, it, you know, it's in your mind. You, ch you think you're, you, you change this, you change that. For me, it is totally food. Like if I eat anything that isn't, I can, I can do the carnivore with the eggs and the dairy and I won't get depressed. But as soon as I add something else, um, it builds up. And I can sort of feel it, like I sort of felt it the second day, and the third day it was, I was going to bed, and I was depressed, and it was all back again. So if I want to keep in the right mind, and I want to keep um, strong, it has to be the meat. It has to be. I'll be able, probably, well see, this is what the next month is going to be. Um, I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm not quitting. I'm going to keep um, going online and I'm going to add coffee. Uh, if I go out to a, a like a Tim's or something, it's going to have cream because I can't handle the coffee without cream. But if I'm at home, it'll either be butter or black. And I'm really looking forward to uh, the next month because now the three initial months are over and I'm going to start playing with the line diet. So now, what I did try a little bit, just a little bit, and I've kind of known this in the past, like you see a lot of people going, oh you have to add fat, you need more fat, you have to add fat, it'll... Okay, well, not for me. Uh, as soon as I started adding more fat, which I love, like I love the little uh, rendered fat chunks, man, I could eat those all day long. But as soon as I start adding that, um, I don't lose. I don't lose weight, I don't lose inches, things seem to not move anywhere or go up. So, and like it can cause diarrhea even worse. <laughs> but I have found that fat is not something I can add, like extra. So the steaks that I have, some of the steaks are, are quite big, 
So um, I was eating a whole steak, and then it kind of felt like at the end I'm like, oh, I'm full. And then I didn't eat the rest of the day. And then I found that interesting because sometimes I kind of get a little fluctuation. So probably an insulin jerk because now they're saying that if you have too much protein, your insulin uh, can like go up or whatever. So now I've started uh, cutting my steaks in half, having half in the morning and half in the afternoon. So I eat probably around between 11 and uh, 10 to 10 to 12. And then I eat uh, around 2, 3 o'clock. And then I'm good for the day. And it seems to be working. But now I don't know if I'm eating enough meat because I'm just eating like one steak. So this is all, like when I started carnivore, it was like, oh, just eat your meat and you'll lose weight and no problem, everything will be fine, stay off the sugars, stay off the carbs. I did that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it doesn't work like that for me. I don't know. So now, maybe I'm not eating enough, so now maybe I need to add a little extra. Um, I don't know. But let's see what next week, or what next month has in store, because I'm going to keep on going. And if you guys want to keep on watching, we're going to keep putting up every month. I'm going to kind of set out a plan at the beginning of the month. And that's kind of what I'm going to try to do. And we'll see if my weight goes up, goes down, if I lose more inches. Um, I mean, I'm just excited. Like, I get to wear this shirt again. <laughs> I'm just excited. I get to wear, like, these pants that cost me a dollar, which never has happened in my entire life. That, uh, I mean... It's cool. It's really cool. I enjoy the um, the lion diet. I miss, I still miss like my egg white cheese buns. Like maybe one month I'll add those back and see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so I'm doing meat, which is probably 99% beef. Every so often we'll have some chicken wings, deep fried. And uh, what else? I have some butter. And now I'm going to have coffee and water and my electrolytes. So that's how the month went. And um, 24 pounds is 24 pounds. <laughs> Two pound sizes is awesome. So we'll see you next month and let you know how the month went. Bye.